Now let us discuss what is the probability that a leap year has 53 Sundays. In the previous case it was a non-leap year. Now this is the case of a leap year. How many total number of days are there in a leap year? The total number of days in a leap year is 366 that we all know. Again, divide 366 by 7 that will give you the 22.29. Okay, yeah. No. So, 52 complete weeks are there. Yes. 52 complete weeks. That is 52 multiplied by 7, it comes to 364. During these 52 weeks, we know that each and every day has come for 52 times. That means till 29th December, each and every day has come for 52 times. Now there are two last two days, 30th December and 31st December. Last two days. Yes. We all would like, but it is not possible to have all these two Sundays because there can never be two consecutive Sundays. Then what? These two last two days can be a pair of two, any two consecutive days of the week. How many pairs are possible? Say there can be Monday and Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday, Thursday and Friday, Friday and Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, Sunday and Monday. The circle is, so the circle is now over. We had started it from Monday and it should be in the Monday. Yes. These two are the pairs in which there can be Sunday. If these last two days are Saturday and Sunday or Sunday and Monday, then only there can be 53 Sundays in a leap year. So, the number of cases favorable to 53rd Sunday are now 2 and total sample space is how many pairs are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. There are 7 cases possible or 7 pairs of 2 consecutive days are possible. So ultimately the probability of 53rd Sunday or 53 Sundays in a leap year comes to 2 by 7. In a non leap year, the probability was 1 by 7 because only one last day is there after 52 weeks. But in a leap year, there are 2 days. So, the number of favorable cases are 2 in this way. Then 